Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my bullet journal setup for July of 2021 and my theme is mermaids slash underwater. This first spread is my cover page and for the cover page I wanted to do something very tropical looking, something super summery um, that immediately kind of makes you feel lighter and cooler. Uh, there's a huge heat wave going on right now so I definitely wanted something with lots of greens and blues. So for this cover page I did a watercolor of a mermaid diving underneath this oncoming ship. Um, so my theme with these mermaids was kind of mostly otherworldly mermaids. The inspiration for this image is from a retro scuba art print that I found on Pinterest. I will leave all of my inspiration images linked in the description. this sped up times 16 speed for you guys um, but it took me probably 40 minutes to put this down uh, to put down all these white lines uh, just because the the white gel did not want to go out onto the watercolor um, it just wanted to kind of push away the pigment and we were losing pigment and we were losing we weren't getting any white so it was kind of the worst of both worlds um, if you want to do something like this where you have white on a paint, I think you're going to need a more specific paint pen. Uh, I tried my Acrylograph as well. I have the Acrylograph White from Archer and Olive, and that was even worse than this one. So uh, I'll definitely have to look into this, but just for your knowledge, learn from my mistakes. Don't use a, a white gel pen on top of um, at least Walmart brand watercolors. It's not going to work well. that I used for July was a poem from a young adult mermaid book that I read a lot as a kid. Uh, the book is called Ingo by Helen Dunmore and the quote goes, I wish I was away in Ingo far across the briny sea, sailing over deepest waters where neither care nor worry trouble me. This quote page goes through a couple of different iterations. Um, the mermaid stickers are from Cherry Rabbit. I will leave her shop linked in the description. She also has the uh, mermaid postcards that I have in the backdrop, uh, which I love, but I couldn't figure out how to really work them in uh, since I was doing more watercolors. Um, but I highly recommend you check her out if you like fantasy slash anime adjacent art.
for my mood tracker, I initially wanted to stay in watercolors and I wanted to do a giant wave with a different color for each mood that was kind of watercolored. Um, however, the watercolors were just going to be too much work uh, to do on a daily basis. So I decided to switch to markers um, and then I used a inspiration pick, uh, which I will leave linked in the description as well of the famous wave print. So as the days of the month go along, I will color in the section that I have numbered for each day. This first half of a week is uh, kind of a bust for me. I don't love the way this looks, so I ended up switching to something totally different for every other weekly. For my first weekly, this was inspired by the Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides mermaids uh, slash shark mermaids in general. Um, I picked a different fish slash sea creature for uh, each weekly and this first one is kind of shark based and I think this turned out really cool. I love the way that um, her tail looks and then I added some red at her mouth to kind of give her a look like she has been eating the kind of food that a shark would be eating um, and then the guy is not bothered about it which is kind of the general mermaid vibe. My second weekly is based on an octopus slash kraken mermaid, uh, and this is inspired by, I saw this picture with um, this giant mermaid underneath this little rowboat, and it was kind of like the idea of what if, what if mermaids are a totally different size than we would imagine them to be, what if they're actually like massive. Um, so this was probably my most challenging watercolor just because um, I had a lot of trouble getting her to look like she was really truly underwater um, and that's just something I think I need to work on. I did take a few Skillshare watercolor classes um, this summer trying to learn better how to paint water um, and this is one of those things that I just am still really struggling with getting the perspective of something that's deeper underwater than something that's shallower. Uh, but overall, I love the coloring on this page. I love the pale greens. Uh, I think it looks really uh, summery and fresh. For my third weekly, I have a jellyfish mermaid who is kind of a deep sea, bioluminescent, glowing um, creature. Uh, I was super inspired on Twitter. They have this tag called Mermaid where you draw or paint mermaids throughout the month of May. And some of the mermaids that I saw were um, things like jellyfish mermaids. So I saw this cool mermaid that was um, 
like the hood of the jellyfish. I'm not sure what the term is for it, the head part. Um, it was like a hijabi mermaid. Um, so I was trying to get that vibe across with this mermaid. Um, this isn't one of my favorites. I think the mermaid features kind of fade into the jellyfish and it just looks like a jellyfish. Um, and that's partially because, again, I'm using the white gel pen on the watercolor, which don't do. Um, but I do think the scuba diver finding her looks really cool and I like the way that the light looks um, coming from the scuba diver's uh, flashlight. For my fourth and final weekly, I did a kelp mermaid, so my goal here was kind of you're swimming through a kelp forest, like an underwater seaweed forest, and you kind of aren't sure if what you're seeing is a mermaid or if it's a leaf that kind of looks like a mermaid. Um, and the pose for this mermaid was uh, from another one of my favorite young adult mermaid series, uh, Lost Voices by Sarah Porter, um, and this is the pose that the mermaid has on the cover of the audiobook. Um, so I highly recommend both of those series to you if you like fantasy and you like mermaid stuff in general. Um, that's the Ingo series and then the Lost Voices series. And then for the quote on the other page, I did we have lingered in the chambers of the sea, by sea girls wreathed with seaweed red and brown, till human voices wake us and we drown, which is a famous mermaid quote, and I thought it went really well with the red and brown seaweed of the kelp forest. So that is it for my July mermaid theme. I hope you enjoyed. Um, some of these spreads I do think are more successful than others, but in general, I'm proud of the watercolor mermaid vibes. 
Let me know what your favorite spread was, um, which your favorite mermaid was, if you have one. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.